YouTube say hi to Twitch. Twitch say hi to YouTube. Let's go. Let's go. YouTube say hi to Twitch. Twitch say hi to YouTube right now. Of course, it's analysis time. Here we go. This is the most recent tournament. Shout out to Portugal. Portugal was extra super duper late. Oh my goodness. It was definitely fire, bro. I just came back from Portugal. I was there for like 10 days. They definitely treated me very well over there. It was at the Maya Chess Open. Absolutely beautiful. And always, before we get started, we always have to plug the merch as we always do. Here it is. Bow. There it is. Shop Canty Merch COE calculation over everything copy some gear right now let's get back to this analysis here we go right that was nice you know i have to throw that in there okay so uh, i'm playing black first round board 17 dgt i'm playing a uh, grandmaster and actually this is uh his name is actually he goes by pepe pepe uh quinte something like that but he, he he does like chess 24 commentary and stuff like that but he's fire he's very strong he's like 25 50 almost 2600 Bruh. The man's strong. Here we go, right? I'm playing, uh, this one is called Engine Like, right? This one is called Engine Like. So uh, we got the nice little thumbnail. Let's to the thumbnail maker. Here we go. D4, and I go Knight of Six. C4, and then G6. So um, let's see what happens. Knight C3. And then here we go, Bishop G7. The reason why I put the SpongeBob on that is because, look, KID is one that I'm not supposed to be playing as much. I'm just being honest with you. I just like KID so much, bro. I love KID. The power level over 9,000. I love the KID, bro. The King's Indian Defense is just a very special place in my heart. But, of course, I've been studying a lot of other things. I just don't be wanting to play them, right? <laughs> it's just how it is. So, I, uh, I played uh, the King's Indian Defense. And, then, you know, I beat my first Grandmaster over the board in January with the king's indian defense right so it really it holds a special place in my heart so kid right i'm going forward i prepped a lot of kid and I, I prepped you know i looked at his games just to see what he does when i do preparation i look at let me shoot i looked at like 40 of his games. i'm not even gonna lie to you and i looked at a lot of them i do very very hard prep uh especially if i can find information on the player so e4 d6 right h3 i knew this was all going to happen this is actually called the maca goat Mako Gonov or Mako Makoganov. Uh, something, bro. It, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I get that wrong every time. Maka Gonov. Maka Gonov. Something like that. Variation. But we just gonna call this the Big Mako variation. So, right, that's what this is. H3, it's the early H3 variation. What they do a lot of times is bishop e3, bishop e2, g4, or there go bishop e3, g4, or there go g4, or there go knight e2, knight g3, or knight e2, sorry, g4, then knight g3, bishop e2, bishop e3. Right, so uh, at some point they're gonna play g4. Honestly, I don't. I mean, I'm not a like I, I don't I'm not I don't have any problems with this line. Actually, um, from the black side, you can and it is aggressive with g4. It looks kind of scary, but at the end of the day, if you know what you're doing and preparation is key, right, um, then you'll be fine. So castles, bishop e3. I'm still in prep right now. Still in prep. Bishop e3, e5 is the move, and then d5. This is all prep still. So of course we're gonna bring it to the chat here now. That's on you guys. So it's black to move. Um, what do you actually do in this position? What do you think are some plans and ideas, of course, as we're learning? So for the people in King's India, we can help you as well. What do you think you do in this position right now? What moves do we make? Sa 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 make some move. Thanks for following. And what's up to you? Hello? C6 for me says Blarbo. Okay, very interesting. Going for the early pawn break right now. C6, knight d7, and Chetel the bishop move and f5 knight h6 meaning h5 that what you mean chess wire h5 knight h5 attack the center uh it was c6 okay that'd be c6 maybe f5 if you can get that in knight a6 there we go that is the move right there and that is the move we make absolutely correct yes chess wire you can also play a5 with the idea of a5 and saying i want to put the knight on c5 without being kicked away with b4 knight a6 is the move i chose because i like how fast i can get the knight to c5 to attack on f3 um a lot of times when they go g4 which was played first off look at this from black's point of view right how scary this could be if you don't know what you're doing he didn't push the g pawn up on you i mean he's trying to push him off in cat back blue oh right now my guy he about to hit you with that two piece in the biscuit for real if you don't know what you're doing you will get crushed i'm just going to be honest with you like every king's indian is gonna is like that you will get your head cracked if you don't know what you're doing so g5 and he's putting he's pushing everything five everything live bishop e2 this is going to get very scary the knight goes to g3 they sometimes even sack a knight on f5 it, it's really brutal 
if you don't know what to do so you need to be very active all kings indians are like this activity peace activity you need to be active so g4 is the move but i played knight e6 because i want to put the knight on c5 i shouldn't leave it here i immediately go knight to c5 hit the pawn on e4 right the pawn can be defended by a few ways queen c2 is one of them queen c2 is not the greatest way we have this c6 move which is really cool i'm just showing you an insight in some of the theory of how sharp this stuff gets after b4 we go c takes d5 hitting and splitting because d4 after takes i just push up on him real quick get the piece right back very nice so after pawn takes there's actually a peace sacrifice believe it or not knight takes knight takes and then i can take on d5 or i can do the knight takes e4 these are two different lines i've studied before where well, you go f5 takes takes right takes takes move that queen back and then we can go f4 first hitting splitting and then back that boy up e4 hit the rook and then e3 and you, you just pushing them all the way back but i've sacrificed the piece here but this is so much play the king's in the center of the board what is going on right now right this is a very very nice position you also have the way where you can sacrifice this way which is a high level game i've seen and then you're you're attacking b4 and then f5 it's coming e4 f4 everything four it's very strong very strong piece sacrifice so queen c2 is not really one of the ones you want uh, to play in fact if you're playing this from the white side the best move the best ways to play is what he played actually sorry in fact um is f3 he played f3 this is the way we don't have to deal with none of the sacrifices it's very bo a nice bolstered pawn here knight e2 knight g3 knight f5 is coming also h4 h5 is a big plan so i mean i mean i love king's indian right there's so much activity to this but sometimes you gotta play engine like Bruh. and that ain't fun and i'll show you what i mean after f3 i go a5 everything's still in prep i'm still in prep right now queen d2 c6 literally still in prep in previous games he has actually played what we've seen here right now knight g to e2 still theory c takes d5 c takes d5 still theory bishop d7 and in some games he's actually castled queenside believe it or not I mean, which actually that does happen um it really does look kind of weird casting with the rook you know file and stuff like this but they want to get the king out of the way so that they can just go for mate so i was expecting this because in every single game that i've seen which is nice to you know sometimes throw people a lot of preparation he has played like castles and other moves like knight g3 mainline moves but this one this man in this position i'm waiting for you know knight g3 rook g1 castle queen side even h4 which of course if you ever face this by the way you respond with h4 with h5 and after g5 first off this is locked up he can't get through it we can go knight h7 i've seen a lot of nakamura games like this knight e8 is also a possibility i'm a fan of the knight h7 and then you can play f6 if you go f5 they don't have the option of opposani they don't have to take but f6 and i'll show you just a quick example f6 takes takes knight g3 and believe it or not putting the rook on f4 well of course rook takes f3 is here right now but i'm just showing you the idea is sometimes you can sacrifice on f4 with the idea of just opening up the game and opening up the bishop like this right and also even bishop h6 in certain cases the king's indian is so dynamic so dynamic but h4 was not played he played a move that bro i was like yo this is not right first off i, I thought i was already like a slightly better here or this isn't like i've never i haven't seen this no one plays this he played knight to c1 what is this bro I, this is not it's nowhere what is it what is he doing now of course he's 2550 he's like 20 you know closing in on 2600 so i'm like oh the man is strong right but like what is this like what are those my guy what are those like nice c3 nice c1 i actually thought i was feeling i was feeling really good here because i mean and i've i've faced this variation a lot i'm not even gonna lie i have played a lot of kings indian but i've never seen this move in this variation and it is engine approved it's just very very like wow nice c1 i mean he wants to go to d3 yeah that's fine he wants to trade him off he wants to trade him off so nice c1 i'm actually already out of book now i'm already not book but at least prep because i prepped a lot and now i'm out of prep out of prep all right cool perfect but that my pieces look good we can still play so what do you think we do chat what is black to move here What should black do? Queen to b6. Chess wire news. We got a queen b6 or there. Rook of b8. Idea b5, I'm assuming there, Blarvo. Very nice. I like it. 
and queen b6 do the same with the knight <laughs> knight e8 knight e8 <laughs> bring the knight back thanks for the follow knight in games okay you must do your knight in games bishop e8 so you want to put the knight maybe on d7 okay so these are interesting guys very interesting silent king move king h8 b5 all right all right here we go so after knight to c1 um the best move here actually give you the engine recommendations are let's see rook c8 number one b5 number two and it was it's fluctuating now it gives rook c after after you let the engine think rook c8 is number one i played move number two which is a4 a4 the idea here is to gain space if you ever gonna put your king on this side of the board you're gonna have problems so this is why i go a4 because you're gonna have problems if you ever put the king over here b5 is possible too but i don't have to sacrifice it right now because the king's not even over here and I, what i don't want is to me play b5 sacrifice the pawn and then he runs the king to the other side of the board and i'm just kind of down a pawn against the 25 50 very strong player right very grand uh, very grandmaster right like, like 55 points more than gm so he is very strong he's very strong so we don't want to like you know give him this pawn and and he run this way which is very possible he has not committed his king yet so i go a4 with the idea of hey if you ever commit the king then i actually am going to play b5 at some point something like queen a5 rook b8 and b5 but i mean it's very possible uh, and i'm also waiting I'm, I'm really anticipating actually him going castle king side so knight to d3 though was the move he wanted to play he played it and then what do you play now chat let's uh, find the next move like you, you're in a you're in the right mode you're in the right mindset right if you're finding these next few moves this is how you play in fact this type of variation this is move number one on the engine i played it correctly here made it correctly all the way up like i'm telling you like this is why this is why this is called engine like this whole game is called engine like very nice sequence of stuff here a3 from a lurks rook c8 hey e4 well first off that's king and it's for knight this is how you differentiate between knight and the king a for king in for knight and if you do put the knight on e4 we are going to hit you uh hitting splitting um you can start a new game big fella that is not a move send the stretcher uh, we just gonna take those and stare at you real hard b5 b5 is a move okay b5 now so you know c5 is actually hanging also well maybe maybe not e5 because there's like lots of counterplay but this actually hanging for instance b5 i take with the knight i take back bishop takes right right and the rook's hitting and you don't have b4 you're in some trouble you're in some trouble so if we go back a few moves knight d3 black to move what do we do b6 very very solid move b5 does not work rook c8 oops rook c8 is another move here's what i chose number one on the engine which is queen to a5 queen a5 i was a big fan of this move because this is actually just playing what you play in the uh in this variation you actually play this anyway like you put the queen over here you push the pawn up to a4 sometimes a3 and if the king is castle you can actually sack when they go b3 play a2 and you get the pawn back or at least they're going to sack back but the rook gets to the second rank with i mean a tremendous peace play tremendous so i'm still banking on this right i'm still banking on it i'm also going to play rook f to c the rooks are connected right connect the tower i mean i'm feeling great here as black i'm literally like i'm feeling great about this game he takes it on c5 i take back he goes a3 right stopping anything going into b4 anything going into b4 a3 i go rook f to c8 i bring the rook to the file right with a smile here oh yeah that's a great question what about bishop takes takes and then um so talking about this here takes takes knight takes e5 in fact can anybody spot the move here it's gonna be a wrap big fella oh my goodness he just blocked with his face can you find a move black to move I like that you had a check on the h file with the queen. Now you don't have that, right? Well, yeah, but you know, here you the check on the h file is always a block with queen f2. Knight takes e4 from Blarvo. Blarvo. That's correct. Knight takes e4, chat. 
This is a nasty move. Boy, look at that boy just open up like that. Open up the line. Engine gives A3 first. What a boss. Like, A3, bro. And then Knight takes E4. Open up the whole diag. Open up everything. It's like nasty. That's very nasty. But he didn't fall for none of that, right? So takes, takes. He goes A3, stopping B4 from happening. Very nice prophylaxis. Also, maybe even moving the knight if he has to. So I go rook F to C8. The reason why I use the F rook is because I want the bishop to back up to F8 to help me play B4. There are cases that when he goes knight A2, I can't go B4. But if my bishop is helping, then I can go B4. This is all this is about. King side, I'm not doing anything over here. Queen side, this is where all my pieces are. So I went with the F rook to C8. Rook F to C8, he goes rook to C1. I do go bishop F8, right, with the idea of B5, B4. He goes H4. I'm like, we got to go for it, bro. B5. Oh, here we go, big fella. It's about to get serious, bro. It's about to get real serious. So B5, he goes bishop E2. I'm like, bro, he tripping. You're going to just let me push up on him like that. He tripping. Right? Like, we're feeling great. B4. Right? And I was thinking of knight A2, which I thought he was going to play knight A2, but he didn't. He went knight B1. And now, chat. I find... This is like, this is called engine-like, right? This whole thing is called engine-like. I find an engine, the engine-like move. I find it. I find the engine-like move here. What is the move, chat? What is the move in this position? Engine-like. Engine-like. Black to move, what do you do? I found the move. And I'm going to show you guys what happens next. Black bomber. So... Bishop takes, okay, c4, c4, bishop takes. Engine like chat, engine like. Bishop b5, take with the pawn. Rook a, b8. King h8, bishop a3. I can't even go there, that's a, man, that's cold. Shoot, that's, a, that's engine like, I can't even put the bishop there, bro, that's crazy. I can't even put the bishop on a3. Okay. B a3. Oh. B a3. Okay. That's different. Bishop takes g4. And the knight takes c4. Something like that. Okay. Here's the move, chat. And, said, and it was said in the chat. And the engine is like, yeah, that's engine approved. Here it is. I was played it and I was ready. C4. It's on the board. It's there. Oh my goodness. This can get nasty. This is a very strong move. Blarvo put it up there. Mark was good. Watch this. Watch this, right? So I'm like, I'm like sweating. And the reason why I'm sweating, because at, at the board, because I'm like, bro, this could be over in like four moves right now. And what I was hoping for is obviously Bishop takes C4. If he takes on C4, what do you do, Chad? Give me the move. Black to move. Black to move, Chad. Give me the move. What do you do now? If he takes on c4, what do you do? We have bishop takes a4. Okay, that's a sweet move. I can't even go there. That's nice. That's nice. I didn't consider that one. Didn't even consider that one. Orlando Chess was good, bro. Thanks for the raid. Rook takes c4, queen c7. Okay. Rook takes c4. Rook takes c4. Bishop b5. So we got some moves. Let's get Mark. B3. Okay. Push. Here's the move, chat. The move is... This will change the It hurts. Oh, my goodness. This is a family channel. Bro, look at this move, bro. I was ready. I was ready. I was, like, salivating over this move. I was waiting for him to take this, I was going to take the pawn so hard. Of course, I'm in my head, obviously. In my head, right? COE calculation over everything. Make sure you calculate in chat. Because your mans was definitely calculating. Blake Natural, thanks for the two months. Let me show you what happens here. After pawn takes, right? Sorry. After pawn takes, knight takes e4. Boom, hitting, splitting. So the queen has ob ob um, obviously moves here. I looked at what happens on queen d3. Well, now I take on a3 with check. Right, he's in check. If king e2, get him out of here. Knight g3, get the man off the board. I mean, a second GM scalp in the year, right? Let's go, right? My first one was in January, you know. So, check. 
a raptor king d1 right i go a takes b2 i'm hitting the rook as well so now i have these i just sacrificed a piece but now i got three pawns for it i stole one here i stole one here i stole one here rook to c2 i go a3 you take on e4 i go a2 i mean i can even go rook takes first and then i go a2 i was so ready chat oh my goodness Bruh. i was ready to do this to him right i was ready i was ready for this absolutely ready for bishop takes g4 and all of this to work so with my idea of c4 and i'm like if he doesn't take it i got a three piece up here in a biscuit looking crazy look at these three like i mean three's company are here like these pawns are monsters right so he basically gotta take something what about taking on b4 bishop takes b4 for the score hitting splitting nice c3 i hit a3 a3 is very very nice right i have a3 now he can't get away but, I mean, obviously, Black's pushing for a lot. Was the GM scout with the KID? Absolutely, it was. And my GM scout was KID. KID is serious, bro. So, C4, right? He goes, Rook takes C4. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. Now, right, I have to take. Because if I go Bishop takes G4, same line. Bishop takes, well, now, guess what? This is defended. This is defended. So, what if we take it first and then do it? Well, let me show you. In fact, chat. This is what happens. I take on c4. He takes back on c4. And here, this is where it got really difficult for me. I looked at rook c8, and I looked at bishop takes g4. Both of them are play are playable, but this is what I mean about engine-like. I have to play right now. Sometimes chess is very hard. It is. In, in fact, chess is just hard, but it's very hard in the fact that you have to play. You know, when you do certain sacrifices, it requires a certain preci precision an engine like play sometimes Bruh. that you are isn't feasible for a human sometimes or like you know the way that we think it's very hard chess is very hard so here i looked at bishop takes g4 but i didn't go for it because of this line here bishop takes g4 pawn takes knight takes c4 i looked at all of this and i was like okay he can go queen d3 now queen d3 hitting the knight i can take on a3 right looks are very deceiving in chess uh, and he can block with knight d2 or something like this but he could also just move the gate it can move the king to d1. I take a second pawn, and actually, believe it or not, I'm losing. Queen takes e4. I sacked two pieces. Just to get this position, I go a3, and when he put this bishop on a2, he's going to stare at you. <sighs> real hard, real uncomfortable stare. Very uncomfortable stare. Right, and you just sacked all of that, trying to look all cool, and you, you don't look cool at all. Like, this is a wrap. Like, it looks good. Oh, it looks great. But the, you don't have anything. You don't have, I don't have any more pieces. I sacked them all, right? I sacked them all to get these pawns that can't even move anymore. So this was, this is hard. This is very difficult. Chess is hard, bro. Chess is hard. So takes, takes. Now that this didn't happen, but I'm, I'm thinking of this, calculating this. So I'm like, knight takes, queen d3. Then I looked at this option. Pawn takes, king d1. I looked at a uh, knight to, what did I look at? Knight c5 or something. I even looked at knight d6. I was like, knight d6, but then I'm like, yo, what is this? Engine like this is close to equal. Bruh. Equal what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm, I'm down a piece. And there's a guy 2550. 2555. Let me give him his extra five points. Like, bro, what is this? And engine like, yeah, I mean, you're all right. You're doing fine. Bro, where? Like, what do you mean? What, what, what is my next move? Like, there's no way I'm going to finish this one out on the easy, on the good side. So it's not going to be good, bro. It's not good. So I was like, dang, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. The engine like play needs to be so precise here. So I rook takes, takes. And then so I'm like, let me throw in a move. So I throw in rook c8. I throw in rook c8. Still equal. He brings the bishop back to d3. Chat, I'm telling you, I was out here calculating, right? COE, there's always a stop for the merge. It's always good to stop for the merge. Because what I'm about to show you right now is calculation over everything. For real. This is about to be some real deal calculating what I'm about to show you right now. So this is what I calculated. Watch this, right? Black to move. What do you think I'm calculating right now? Let me, and I'm going to show you what I looked at. And it, and it just don't work. It was good. What up, Ryan? Right, two fly. Black to move here. Some queen sacrifice here. I mean, I have, that's it. That's exactly right. Like, <laughs> that's exactly right. Of course. Of course I'm looking at that. And then here's how it goes. After pawn takes, he takes the queen. Right? I take on b2. I mean, like, what are you doing? Start a new game. Garbage. Like, come on, bro. Like, what are you doing? You, you can't do this. 
But A2 is very strong because now he can't stop the queen. Look at this. So I was definitely tempted by this idea. I'm like, ooh, A1, like this is sweet. This is sweet. And if you take, obviously, this is here. But this is what I calculated. He can castle. I queen. He goes queen B6. What's the idea? He defends B2 because that's how my queen gets out. But also, it's a double attack. My knight's hanging. If I defend the knight by any move, doesn't matter. Even if I move the knight and I move the knight, he goes knight c3 or a3 or anything. Knight c3 and I lose the queen. <laughs> queen strips! The queen strips! So you sack the queen, got it back, and lost it again. <laughs> Not happening. All right? Like, but I was calculating this. I was calculating this and I was like, dang. This just don't work. I mean, the King's Indian is such a rich opening. But man, it just does not work sometimes. Like the engine like play is freaking crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alex, that's funny, right? So Rick, that's funny. So Rick takes, not a move, exactly. Large line, right? So Rick takes. What if you do Rick takes C3? Oh yeah, you want to look at that? Let me show you, right? Let me just show you what happens. Right, castles, queen, knight, uh, sorry, uh, queen B6 first. And then um knight e8 and then knight c3 so knight c3 i take on c3 he takes my queen we take on d3 and and, and for your next trick my guy what you are we really playing this out with these pieces back here like this this man 2550 too don't forget the rating diff he's 2555 right i don't think i don't think i'm gonna win this game at all in fact i think the chances of winning this game are none you know how they say slim to none it's it's none it's none bro it's not queen takes f1 first i want you to look at this real quick Connor. before you answer that i want you to look at this and tell me what is going on a3 oh that's cute a3 oh man the pass pawn we got the pass pawn bro a2 we got the pass pawn it don't work it don't work get him off the board my leg exactly Exactly. Exactly. Right. A2, yeah. Completely losing. Oh boy, this is I mean this you don't want to show this to nobody. You don't want to show this game to anyone after that. It's looking real bad. It's looking real bad for your boy. So I, I thought I'm like, dang. So rook c8, he go bishop d3. I calculate all of that. And I'm like, ah, what do I do? What do I do? Engine like. And here I'm now down a pawn. I'm down a pawn. And this is the problem with playing sharp play sometimes is the accuracy, the engine-like play that is required here. In fact, chat, I want you to find some move. And I'm going to show you what how hard this is, right? It's black to move, engine-like, right? The name of this is the title. Black to move, what do you actually do? What do you think the engine wants us to do? And I'm going to tell you what I did. <laughs> show you what I did. What do you think the engine says you should do? So you have always assuming your opponent will find the right move to your plan. There is no scenario plan enough to risk it. No, I mean if you're playing somebody 2500, you have to first of all respect the rating, respect who you're playing. Always respect your player, right? You wanna you wanna expect that they're gonna play the right move, and and, it, or, and if they don't, then that's great. But if they, you know, if you go in with a mindset, I hope when you play hope chess, you already losing. Never play hope chess. Garbage. Never play hope chess because then when they play something that I hope you don't play that, and then you play it, you're lost, right? So you have to assume they're going to play the right moves. Stop the attack. 98, bishop, b5. All right, knight takes d5. Okay, let's take last next follow. Rook c1. Yeah, rook c1 would have been fired. I actually thought about this too. I was trying to get this to work too. Let me just throw that in there just to show you guys. That's really cool. Queen takes, but the same idea. I, I mean, this almost works. But obviously, I mean, he can just like move the king or do anything. Captain, any thanks for the follow. King here and then a2 and then knight c3. And I mean, like, any, I, it's just absolutely lost. Nothing there. So, in fact, here's the engine move, chat. Hard. Very hard stuff. Best move is bishop c5, bro. I mean, I'm, I was never considering this. I don't even know what this Like, it feels like I'm losing a pawn, right? Takes, takes. I mean, almost. But yeah, I have queen c1 now. But I mean, this is hard. And then it says king e2. It says King E2, and after here, now I have to sack. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> now I got it. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, great. Man, this is ridiculous. This is, re this is really ridiculous. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah, yeah, Bishop C5. All right. The next move is Bishop B5. 
And then get this, the last move is rook b8. Rook b8, right? So with the bishop c5 line, this is logical. It does make sense. But he doesn't even have to take it either. But let's say he does. Okay, takes, takes, right? And then king e2, knight takes g4. I can just take, take. And they give this, this is equal. Takes, takes, king f1. I'm supposed to play queen c1. Sorry, rook takes. Oh, I've seen this. I have seen this line before. Where this is equal, like, but that means, yeah, this is equal. I would actually be fine, but then you got to be careful. Yeah, that's a passer, passer. That's a passer, passer. And I mean, he got two of them. Like, yeah, like doing it, this is just too much. The accuracy involved, again, is engine like. It's engine like, right? So, this is type of the type of play that and I'm showing this to show you. This is the type of play that you want to, unless you have, uh, even then, like, there is no, like, uh, doing this, uh, what, what did Tao say? Tao sometimes will go into positions where you can't calculate all of that. It's sometimes you just can't calculate all of that. Even though we practice calculation over everything, you don't want to give yourself uh, situations where it's messy too much, right? And, of course, Grandfather Tao says, take him into the forest, 2 plus 2 equals 5, right? But sometimes you don't make it out on the other side of that forest. <laughs> even though 2 plus 2 equals 5, you ain't making the way out, right? So it's difficult. So I sack on G4. Still doable. The engine's like, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Bishop takes g4. Takes, takes. He goes king e2. And I am losing now. I mean, it's, it's like actually plus one. But I sack a piece. But it's plus one. So look at this, right? Black to move. What do you think to, to keep the balance? To keep the balance. To keep this thing going. Because actually, I was banking on him being anything else, but King E2, obviously, I mean, he found the right move because he's 2550. He's going to find it. What do you think you need to play, chat? To keep the balance here, to try to keep this game going, what do you think you should play? Engine move number one, best move. What is it? On B3. All right, Roman, I want you to uh, hit the, you know, uh, it's back of your neck one time. Garbage. And here, connect. Connect. Make sure you connect each time. Knight takes c3. Okay. Bishop c5 again. Bishop c5. Bishop c5 now. All right, chat. I am very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Because you played what I played. Bishop c5. <laughs> Hey, I'm proud of you, Jack. Clap it up. Clap it up. That is not a move. Garbage. We all losing. Everybody's losing after Bishop C5. I played it too. Everybody losing. But the move I'm supposed to play is H5. You have lost your mind, boy. What? This is why sometimes playing like, like it's tough playing sharp openings sometimes. Engine like. I have to play H5 to keep the balance. <laughs> H5. Oh, and I don't even know what I'm doing next. You have lost your mind, right? If you think I'm going to play H5. So, we didn't play that. We played Bishop C5 to stay active. Just because we sacrificed the piece, right? So, we play on Bishop C5. He goes Rook C1, which is a disgusting move, by the way. Absolutely gross move. Rook C1. After Rook C1, Knight takes E3. I mean, this is just game over. Takes E3. He takes on b4, a little in between tween, which is a position zone or uh, intermediate move. A takes b4, right? I mean, hitting everything. It's a very strong because I wanted him to take the bishop, but he did. But at this point, I knew I was already lost. Queen d8, rook c5. And then I'm just going to fast forward because I'm just down a piece now. So and now I'm just trying to make it work, right? And I'm like, can I get these pawns rolling? And I fought for a while. Like, I'm fighting. You know what I mean? Like, I'm fighting right now. I'm fighting. And then. Right, watch this. You know, when you when you feeling froggy out here, right, takes, I take one pawn. Take another one! Let's go! Uh, uh. Bro, I'm like hype. Like, oh snap, but he had I me mean, Bishop A2 just wins. It stops the check. And Bishop C2, I was gonna grab all the pawns. So I'm sacrificing two pieces just to get all your pawns. But he plays Bishop A2, which stops everything. If Bishop C2, I mean we got some chances, right? Like, shoot. I mean, we, hey, hey, human play. But if I can get rid of this, we have some hope. But, I mean, they're far from ever happening. Far from ever happening. So I went with that route instead of just taking it. I mean, I'm just going to go, like, whatever. 
Queen takes, he goes bishop a2, and this was just game over. h5, few more moves here, d6, h4, queen c3, queen b7, and he goes queen c7, and then that's game over, I resign here. Because he's going to queen and, like, queen f7, everything, like, everything's over. Queen h1, I mean, last little, you know, spite check there. Check there, come on now, this is a family channel, right? Like, don't do this. So this is, this is over. This is over. But engine-like, right? I call this engine-like because you had to play engine-like. I learned from this game, of course, that sometimes even my coach says this too, like this is one habit we're trying to break, in fact. It's actually, um, you, you don't have to play as sharp there. You don't have to play as sharp. Even C4 was the option that I went for, but it was kind of messy there. And, and going against stronger players like the 2550, I mean, he's super strong. You got to be careful. It is tough, right? So it's called engine-like. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, we do. We are going to do round two coming up too as well. Make sure you check the merch out right here at COE. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.